the magnitude of the problem doesn't hit you until you're actually on the ground looking at the dead trees. Campers moved infested firewood into this campground. Beetles emerged and then they flew up into these oak trees and thus the invasion began. They've killed anywhere from 20 to 80,000 trees now. This is really the first time an exotic insect has come into Southern California, attacked our native oak trees, and caused such widespread devastation. My name's Mark Hoddle. I'm the director for the Center of Invasive Species Research at the University of California, Riverside. And the reason we are here today is to look at these oak trees which have been killed by an invasive insect called the gold-spotted oak borer. There's a lot of dead trees, and this is just a small part of the William Heisey County Park. So you take this patch, amplify it by hundreds of acres, and you can see the magnitude of the problem. It's enormous. You can see some of the damage inside the wood, these brown streaks. Oh, okay, so we have one right here. There we go. Gotcha. No, he's, he's screwed now, man from the collections we were doing a few days ago we got about 50 larvae out of this tree in like an hour and that's only what we've done here what makes them so destructive to these trees is that there are hundreds of these beetles feeding in the tree and they just can't handle that kind of feeding pressure so you end up with hundreds of adult beetles coming out of each one of these infested trees and then fly to the surrounding oak trees lay their eggs and then the infestation cycle begins again it's heartbreaking. People are moving firewood infested with beetles. So this allows the beetle to move very quickly, 50, 60 miles, maybe 100 miles when people have a pickup truck load. And we get about 10 of these new species establishing in California each year. We're interested in looking for natural enemies to suppress the uncontrolled populations of this pest in Southern California. And that's what I specialize in. I go overseas or to other parts of the United States, look for the natural enemies that have evolved to use that pest species for food, bring them back to California, run the safety tests and quarantine, prepare the environment assessment reports, and if we get the green light, we release them and we can solve a problem. Because really, we have no other option. We can't spray these massive forests with pesticides to kill all these beetles. Every person in California, their life will be affected in some way by these exotic organisms. Because tourism is increasing, trade is increasing, and just the amount of human movement in and out of California, either by road, train, boat, plane, is increasing all the time. And as people move, they bring stuff with them. 